I got a real big problem, and YouTube can't come solve them. I tried to learn some science, but YouTube ain't got no license. <laughs> I'm lying. It's really a lack of material. Trying to get my own education ain't gonna work without information. So I took this predicament inside my own two hands. I'm committed to the contribution and solution of a neglected institution. Now what you ask am I studying that I can't find no information on? What could possibly evade the minds of the also prying Google lies? Archaea, ancestors of us all. The third domain, oh what a shame. Now, I'm for sure reaching out to all those sciencey nerds, but Archaea are so cool I can't leave you undisturbed. Woo! My favorite things to do are music and some art, so listen to this rapping with new knowledge, you'll depart. Yeah. Uh huh. Number one, Carl Richard Woos in 1977 He decided to rethink the whole entire family tree of life And though he faced some controversy for his new ideas He's laughing at them now, cause he discovered something real The tree of life consisted of only two domains Bacteria, you should already know, and eukarya is of what we are made With George A. Fox, these two men found a third kingdom It was profound, neither plants, animals, or bacteria This third domain it then was named Archaea, ancestors of us all. The third domain, oh what a name. Number two, Archaea are known as something called extremophiles, meaning they love extremes. Now let me see, hmm, you can compare these organisms to X Game fanatics. I ain't being dramatic, here's a look at it. Have you ever seen the rainbows of Yellowstone or the San Francisco colorful South Bay salt ponds? Archaea are responsible for these natural beauties. They dare to live where no one will live. Number three, single cell dare devils dare and deliver no other creatures will go in harsh environments that seem so unforgivable. Beyond the places where the earth is inhabitable, these microbes, they don't give a damn, they simply go and claim their land. The Great Salt Lake and the volcanic sea vents, marshes, hot springs inside your guts, unnatural temperaments, Antarctic beyond freezing your ass off cold, that seem even as extreme as they will go. Highly salinic, acidic, anaerobic, exploding geysers, wealthy misers. <laughs> Get this. Maybe this will bring you a sliver of hope. Because they can make base in nuclear waste. Number four, although the babies of the modern microbiology world, it's thought that archaea have lived since the beginning of the world. But if you think about it, it really kind of does make sense. They are the only ones who could have lived through all that comet nonsense. Archaea, ancestors of us all, the third domain, oh what a shame. It's time to redeem ourselves for neglecting these poor cells. The more you learn, the more you give and return. They will not stand alone because now you know. And together we will band and for them we will stand. Archaea, ancestors of us all. The third domain, oh what a name. Archaea, ancestors of us all, the third domain, oh, what a shame. That nobody knows their name.